Hello and welcome back to Photoshop Icebreakers. I'm Kari Shanilak and today I'm going to show you how to polish and elevate your photos so that they are ready for social media or clients. In portrait and fashion photography, it is important to get rid of things that distract from your main subject and give your photos a clean and professional look. I'm going to show you a few tools that I use in Photoshop to achieve this. For this photo, I'm going to remove anything that is distracting from the model and the amazing outfit that she's wearing. First, I'm going to duplicate the background layer. This way we can preserve the original image if we ever want to go back. First, I'm going to remove this fire hydrant. I'm going to zoom in and then select the lasso tool and completely select the hydrant as well as its shadow. Then once we have the marching ants, I'm going to right click and go to content where fill. This box will show up and you can see that Photoshop magically gets rid of the fire hydrant for me using other parts of the image. Preview looks good, so I'm just gonna say okay and deselect. Since there are some lines that I want to kind of make sure line up in this image, I'm then gonna take the clone stamp tool and sample just to the right here and blend this out so that it blends in with the rest of the image a little bit more. And then I'm going to also take the sample here all right, and then we zoom out and toggle this background copy layer on and off, and you can see that it's gone. Next, I'm going to take away this pipe that is also behind the model, and I'm gonna use the same method. Next, I'm gonna get rid of some of the wrinkles that are in her coat. To do this, I'm zooming in and taking the Spot Healing Brush Tool. To get rid of these wrinkles in her coat, I'm simply going to brush over it with this tool and they will disappear. I'm just gonna go through the rest of the wrinkles in the coat using the same method. You can also adjust the size and softness of the brush if needed. Also gonna get rid of this extra stitch in the coat. Now the coat looks so much better with all the wrinkles smooth. I'm also gonna use the same method to touch up the stains on the ground around her feet. The last thing I'm gonna to do to really make the subject pop is add a little bit of sharpness just to the subject. To do this, I'm gonna go up to select and subject. Photoshop has magically selected just the subject. From here, I'm going to copy the background one more time and then create a mask. Now there is a layer with just the subject selected. I'm gonna go up to filter and sharpen and unsharpen mask. I'm going to go up until I like the amount of sharpness that is on the subject and press okay. And that is how I edit my photos in Photoshop to make them ready for social media and clients. Now I hope that you can take these tools and techniques to elevate your own amazing photos to the next level. Thanks for tuning into this Photoshop icebreaker session and please let me know in the comments how you use these tools yourself. 